Glory, hallelujah. This is Joseph Adenoga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. I'm here again to encourage you and to inspire you with the word of God. As you may have known, that this is my assignment, this is my duty, this is my passion, this is my hobby. And I've been doing this for about five years, sending inspirational and encouraging messages to people via WhatsApp and right now via um, the website. Hallelujah. And today I believe that God is going to bless you as you listen in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for the spirit of understanding, for this one that is hearing me, that, Lord, beyond what I am saying, open the eyes of understanding so that this one will see beyond what I say, and this one will see into the deep wisdom of God, and give this one the power to begin to rule over his enemies in the name of Jesus. We are surrounded by enemies. Jesus said, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. We need the wisdom of God to be able to rule and to reign as God has called us kings and priests on the earth. Thank you, Father, because this is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, again, I continue the topic. Yesterday, I was talking about devilish wisdom, and today I'm going to continue from there. Hallelujah. I look at the book of... Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and I read from verse 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Many people, they base their life, their faith, their hope on men. And that is why when they hear a prophet is around, they rush there. They are ever running from one prophet to another, from one witch doctor to another, because... Their faith is based on the wisdom of men. But God is saying, don't let your own be like that. Let your faith be built on the power of God. And look at verse 6. He says, how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world to our glory. Verse 8 which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the devilish wisdom. In this place where we read, the Bible says that the wisdom of God is a wisdom that the princes of this world does not understand. Look at verses. How speak we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, that come to naught. That is, this devilish wisdom is going to come to naught. It's going to come to an end. The devilish wisdom one day is going to be defeated. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible is saying here. It says, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom. The wisdom of God is hidden. It's a which God ordained before the world to our glory. The wisdom of God is not understood by devilish wisdom. Demonic wisdom does not recognize the wisdom of God, does not understand the wisdom of God. In fact, the wisdom of God bamboozles the wisdom of the devil. Hallelujah. You understand? Now, what I am saying to you, I'm still talking, I'm not yet talking about the wisdom of God. I am still talking about the wisdom of the devil, the devilish wisdom, the demonic wisdom, the diabolical wisdom. I'm still talking about that. But what I'm saying to you is that the diabolical wisdom does not understand the wisdom of God. The diabolical wisdom cannot fix the wisdom of God. The devilish wisdom cannot comprehend the wisdom of God. That is why the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, if you read from verse 10, it says, Finally, my brother... You know, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil days. Verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in, you know, spiritual darkness and hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. We are fighting because this demonic wisdom is everywhere. They are fighting against anyone that is good, anyone that is on the side of God. 
demonic wisdom is how to fight them and demonic wisdom is spiritual but it's also given to men you see when you see somebody suddenly hate you suddenly develop hatred for you it is because demonic wisdom has been given to that person to fight you but he can never win you he can never overcome you in the name of jesus you have excuse me you have spiritual power given by god and that is what i that is the one of the reasons why i am picking this topic at this time is that god want me to impart unto you the spiritual wisdom of god which is from above which is higher than the foolish wisdom hallelujah the foolish wisdom operates in cunning ways is operated by men who does not love god who does not know god hallelujah and devilish wisdom is um working in three different dimensions number one it works from the devil himself trying to attack you every time you want to progress every time you want to discover your purpose every time you want to enter into your destiny every time you want to break through demonic wisdom is in operation because demons are spiritual you cannot see them they fight you they attack you and that's why the bible says we are wrestling we are fighting but not against flesh and blood it says not against human beings you understand so when you are about to make a progress devil senses that and begins to raise up opposition along your way even though the bible says in the book of uh, isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 that the th that no weapon formed against us shall prosper hallelujah even though that is true but the devil does not rest the devil does not stop attacking us hallelujah hence we need the power of god we need the wisdom of god you see because the devil attacks us when we want to make progress when good thing is about to happen to us but we need the power of god to wade off that attack we need the strength of god to be able to overcome the devil we need the wisdom of god to be able to overcome the wisdom of the devil hallelujah and that is why we are bringing this word to you so that you can distinguish between the wisdom of god and the wisdom of the devil hallelujah another way the devil attacks us is that the devil enters in, into human beings to hate us he enters into human beings to fight us he enters into them and some of these human beings they go to witch doctors in order to do diabolical force against us hence they do some things you see there are sometimes some people will do something they will go and nail it on the tree some people they will do some some evil work they go and throw it into the river to fight against us because when these evil works are done de demons are invited they are invited given assignment to supervise the suffering of the person they want to afflict i'm going to stop there uh, about the devilish wisdom i'm going to continue from that tomorrow by the grace of god thank you for listening if this has blessed you rebroadcast this and if this is rebroadcasted to you and you want me to send it to you on whatsapp every day save my number it is this plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one that's my number save it right now and whatsapp me immediately say register me i will register you and send this to you every day and i'll say and i'll be also be praying for you every day thank you for listening this is pastor joseph adenuga the pastor of prevailing church of christ bethlehem south africa signing out and saying be blessed and remain blessed